<laughs> Hi everyone. Hey, it's Tony with Encore Repurposing and we're here today to show you something very special. I'm here with Jeanette, who's one of our customers who commissioned us to do a piece um, that was a family heirloom that they wanted to maintain. So I'm going to let her talk about this gorgeous wine bar that you see back here and tell us a little bit of the story about it and what it means to her. Sure so thing. this is Jeanette. Hi, thanks for being here and checking this piece out. So this is a beautiful old antique piano that was my mother-in-law's and she recently downsized. So she had this old antique piano in her, in her garage for years and she never really used it. But when we went to move her and help her downsize, we just could not part with this piano and if you know pianos are very heavy um, we just absolutely did not want it to be thrown in a dumpster um, we, we couldn't find anybody who wanted to buy it or take it off our hands and I had seen somewhere that um, I had seen pianos being repurposed into things like coffee bars and wine bars and I thought okay we're gonna save this beautiful beautiful old antique piano and I love wine as you can see I have my wine shirt on right now and so I just basically googled who repurposes pianos in Kansas City and the first company that came up was Tony and Encore Encore I don't know if it was all keyed up or whichever it was Encore repurposing came up so I called them and said hey I got a, I got a project for you I've got a piano I'd love to turn into a wine bar I had gone on Pinterest and found some really cool pictures on how I wanted it to look and what color I wanted it to be and then enters Tony <laughs> and what I love about this process is that Tony is so talented and creative and um, she really allowed me to be um, a very integral part of creating this piece and designing it and I went downtown a couple times to um, help her figure out like where to take things from down below and move it up above and so that's kind of what we did we just turned it into this really cool piece so let me kind of show you a little bit about how we changed it this little shelf here i love um because and my little glasses are just handy for when i want my wine but this piece came from i'm assuming probably somewhere down below and i hope you'll post pictures of the before we will definitely piano, do that after, mm -hmm. and then after so yes. i definitely wanted to have a shelf to put glasses so she was able to put this up here. If you come a little bit closer, this beautiful ornate piece right in there, that was taken from another area of the piano and moved up here so that it just brought up this, this beautiful little design piece. Um, this is all original and we kind of were talking about what should we do with that? Should we take it down? We decided to leave it on there because it just really showed the integrity of this beautiful piece of furniture, and I just think it looks really cool. Then, of course, my cute little sign fits right in there. <laughs> um, these pieces right here, you can kind of get in and see that that big ornate piece right there. That was originally down here, I think, on the legs of the piano. So which we have, I had her remove those and put them up there. Um, what else did we do? Oh, let's look down here. If you can see down below. So I wanted to have an area down here to just put fun things. Um, my wine cork. So I, I drink a little bit of wine, don't I? <laughs> and then these are just little areas where we can stash glasses and other kind of liquor and whatnot. So good for storage. Uh, this part I love. So this, this is where the keys were and a lot of people ask, how do you get those corks in there? So these are the three inset pieces that they were just already there. I don't even know why they were there, but they just perfectly fit all these little corks. And then we just put a piece of glass over the top. Um, oh, this piece right here, this is down, I think, below, down by the feet, right? This is like the piece that was originally down here. I had her bring it up here. We talked about painting this part a different color, which I think really helps this stand out. Um, what else did we do? Oh, the feet. So these are the original feet on the piano, but they were, they weren't this color. I think you came over one day and mm -hmm. saw the little mule mugs and we thought, why don't we, why don't we paint them so they kind of match 
yeah. the mug. So I think that turned out super cute. Mm -hmm. But I just love it. I love that we've been able to keep this piano. We've turned it into something that is useful and fun and a, a conversation piece. And Tony was just a joy and a delight to work with. And now I think she's like one of my friends and I love chatting with you all the time and seeing what you have working on these days. So yeah. anyway, this is it, my wine bar, I love it. <laughs> Thank you, Jeanette. Hey, and you all know that you have a piece somewhere that's just gathering dust that means something to you that had some sentimental value to your family. Um, give us a call and have, have an idea or we'll come up with something. We'll work with you and we'll make this project um, something that will last in your family for 100 more years. So thank you for watching today. I hope that you enjoyed this and come down to um, All Keyed Up Piano Shop. That is where we are located in the West Bottoms and um, we'll set you up. Thanks everyone.